Have you ever wondered why some people seem to be just effortlessly healthy while you're barely holding it together, even after following all the health fads? Spoiler alert. It might not be the superfoods, workout routines, or fancy supplements that are their secret weapon, but instead, these tiny lifesavers called probiotics. Today, I have an eye-opener for you that'll make you rethink your diet. We're diving deep into the shocking health benefits of seven probiotic foods. Will we find that your meals have been missing these powerhouse foods all along? Well, stick around to find out. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand why probiotics are so important, but also know exactly which foods to load up on for a health transformation like no other. From gut health to mental well-being, these probiotic-rich foods can do wonders you won't believe. And the best part? They're probably already in your kitchen. So buckle up and let's get started. First up, we have yogurt. Ever stared at a cup of yogurt and thought, wow, you're full of living organisms? Sounds a bit odd, right? But believe it or not, that's the reality. And it's a huge part of why yogurt is such a superfood for your gut health. Yes, this creamy delight is a powerhouse of probiotics, the friendly bacteria that are on a mission to boost your health. Probiotics are the leading characters in the yogurt show, with lactic acid bacteria and bifidobacteria stealing the spotlight. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. When you munch on your favorite yogurt, you aren't just treating your taste buds. You're also promoting better bone health and even supporting healthy blood pressure levels. It's also known to alleviate those pesky, irritable bowel syndrome symptoms. And here's the real kicker. For those of you who dodge dairy due to lactose intolerance, yogurt might just be your new best friend. This is because the friendly bacteria in yogurt convert some of the lactose into lactic acid, giving yogurt its characteristic tang and making it more digestible. But here's a word of caution, friends. Not all yogurts are created equal. Some may have had their live probiotics killed during processing, defeating our purpose of eating yogurt for probiotics. So when you're on your next grocery run, ensure you pick yogurt with active or live cultures. And don't forget to check the label. Even low-fat or fat-free options can sometimes be a sugar bomb in disguise. Next up, we're heading into the world of tang and tradition with a probiotic superstar that's been gracing our plates for centuries. Sauerkraut. Now, if you're wrinkling your nose and thinking, isn't that just sour cabbage? You're not entirely wrong. But there's a lot more to the story. Sauerkraut, my friends, is indeed finely shredded cabbage. But here's the magic. It undergoes fermentation by lactic acid bacteria. And voila! What was once just humble cabbage becomes a probiotic-rich traditional delight that's celebrated in many countries, particularly across Eastern Europe. Now, you might have tasted sauerkraut atop a juicy sausage or as a tangy side dish. Its distinctive sour, salty flavor is a great accent to many meals. And the best part? Thanks to fermentation, you can store it for months in an airtight container. But the benefits of sauerkraut extend far beyond its probiotic content. It's a good source of fiber and packed with vitamin C and K. It even gives you a dose of iron and potassium, although it is high in sodium. So moderation is key. And let's not forget its antioxidants, lutein and zeaxanthin. These two have a crucial job protecting your eye health. However, when shopping for sauerkraut, make sure to opt for the unpasteurized kind. Pasteurization, while great for some food safety, unfortunately kills the live and active bacteria we're after. And now, let's jet off to Japan to uncover the probiotic potential hidden within a popular seasoning known as miso. What exactly is miso? It's a flavorful paste, traditionally made by fermenting soybeans with salt and a special type of fungus called koji. But the creativity doesn't stop there. Miso can also come to life by mixing soybeans with other grains like barley, rice, or rye. You've probably come across miso in its most famous role, as the star ingredient in miso soup, a beloved breakfast staple in Japan. Tasting a bit salty and available in a range of colors from white and yellow to red and brown, Miso is a versatile ingredient you can use to add a unique umami kick to your dishes. But miso isn't just about flavor. It's a nutritional goldmine, too. Packed with protein and fiber, it also boasts a wealth of vitamins and minerals. We're talking vitamin K, manganese, copper, and more. And the benefits of miso don't stop there. Some studies suggest that regular consumption of miso soup might be linked to significant health benefits. One study, for instance, found that middle-aged Japanese women who frequently consumed miso soup 
had a lower risk of breast cancer. Another study found that a high intake of miso soup was associated with a reduced risk of stroke in women. So you thought yogurt was the superstar of probiotics? Let's shake things up a bit. Allow me to introduce you to the often overlooked but absolutely fantastic probiotic champion, kefir. Imagine this, a drink, fermented, teeming with probiotics, and it's not yogurt. Kefir is a fermented milk drink, born from the magic of adding kefir grains to cow's or goat's milk. Now, don't let the term kefir grains mislead you. We're not talking about cereal grains here. Instead, these little wonders are clusters of lactic acid bacteria and yeast that somewhat resemble cauliflower. Here's a fun fact. The term kefir is said to derive from the Turkish word keif, translating to feeling good after eating. And rightly so, because kefir doesn't just taste great, it's also linked to an array of health benefits. From strengthening your bones, assisting with digestive issues, to even helping protect against infections. Kefir is the friendly, bacteria-filled beverage that just keeps on giving. We all love yogurt, and yes, it's an excellent probiotic food. But guess what? Kefir may be even better. With several major strains of friendly bacteria and yeast, it's a veritable diversity party of probiotics, making it an incredibly potent option. And the cherry on top? Just like yogurt, kefir is typically well-tolerated by those with lactose intolerance. Let's take our taste buds on a journey to Indonesia and meet a probiotic-packed food that might just be the tastiest meat substitute you've never heard of. Say hello to tempeh, a fermented soybean product. Tempeh forms a firm patty that's ready to tantalize your palate with its distinct flavors. Nutty, earthy, or even similar to mushrooms, tempeh's unique taste profile is truly a culinary adventure. Originally from Indonesia, tempeh has taken the world by storm as a high-protein meat substitute. It's a favorite among vegans, vegetarians, and anyone else who's looking for a nutrient-dense alternative to meat. Now, the fermentation process does something truly special to tempeh. See, soybeans are naturally high in phytic acid, a compound that can block your body from absorbing vital minerals like iron and zinc. But when fermented, the phytic acid levels in soybeans decrease allowing your body to absorb more of these essential nutrients. But wait, the magic of fermentation doesn't stop there. In the process, tempeh also gains something that's usually missing in plant-based foods, vitamin B12, a crucial nutrient typically found in animal products like meat, fish, dairy, and eggs. This makes tempeh not just a great choice for vegetarians and vegans, but also for anyone looking to add a nutritious and tasty probiotic to their diet. Next stop on our probiotic world tour, we're diving into the effervescent world of kombucha. This popular beverage starts its life as black or green tea, but it doesn't stay ordinary for long. The tea is fermented by a friendly colony of bacteria and yeast, also known as a SCOBY, or symbiotic colony of bacteria and yeast. Enjoyed in many parts of the world, especially across Asia, kombucha has been creating quite the buzz. Its tangy and slightly sweet taste is hard to forget, and it's so widely loved that you can even order it online and have this bubbly brew delivered right to your doorstep. Now, if you've been on the internet lately, you've probably seen a myriad of claims about kombucha's potential health effects. Everything from detoxifying the body, to preventing disease, to boosting energy levels, and more. But as a discerning viewer, you might be asking, what's the real deal? Here's the truth. While there's a lot of excitement around kombucha, high-quality scientific evidence directly linking kombucha to specific health benefits is currently lacking. Many of the existing studies are based on animal or test tube experiments, and we can't automatically apply those results to humans. That said, it's not all smoke and mirrors. Kombucha is fermented with bacteria and yeast, which means it does likely offer health benefits connected to its probiotic properties. These microorganisms are the same kind we've been talking about throughout the video. The friendly bacteria that help support a healthy gut. All right, brace your taste buds. We're taking a spicy detour to Korea. Time to talk about a side dish that's not just deliciously fiery, but also a probiotic powerhouse. Kimchi. Now, you may be wondering what exactly is kimchi? At its core, it's a fermented dish that often stars cabbage, although it doesn't shy away from showcasing other vegetables too. What sets kimchi apart is its unique blend of seasonings. Think red chili pepper flakes, garlic, ginger, scallion, and salt. A mouth-watering mix that lends it that distinctive punch. And here's where the heat meets health. 
Kimchi is home to the lactic acid bacteria Lactobacillus kimchi and other beneficial bacteria, all ready to give your digestive health a boost. When made with cabbage, kimchi doesn't just bring the heat, it also brings some pretty significant health benefits. It's high in vitamins and minerals, including vitamin K, riboflavin, also known as vitamin B2, and iron. But what if you're allergic to these foods? Or perhaps you're simply not a fan of their taste? Don't worry, you're not out of the probiotic game yet. You can opt for a probiotic supplement. These can easily be shopped for online. But remember, always consult a doctor before incorporating any new supplement into your routine. Now let's sum this up. Probiotics, be it from wholesome foods or quality supplements, can have potent effects on your health, working behind the scenes to keep you at your best. So whether you're a yogurt fanatic or a fermented food enthusiast, adding these probiotic powerhouses into your diet is a delicious way to boost your health. Now we've got a challenge for you. How many of these probiotic powerhouses are you already enjoying in your diet? Or maybe you have another favorite probiotic-rich food that we didn't mention? We want to know. Take a moment, head to the comment section below and tell us your probiotic story. We always love to hear about your experiences and insights. Remember, by sharing your experience, you're not only helping us create better content, but you're also helping our community learn and grow. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, your health is your wealth. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our health-boosting content. Stay curious, stay healthy, and we'll see you in our next video.